I've had many people come up to me and tell me that their loved one passed away. This has caused them to disbelieve in God or to deny God. How dare you create a world in which there is such misery that is not our fault? It's not right. It's utterly, utterly evil. These things don't happen because God is evil. God is not evil. First and foremost, why do bad things happen? You know, this world is such that we don't have all the answers. But God has given us some of the answers, and some of those answers entail the following. This world is a test. On that path, you're going to find obstacles. And on that path, you're going to find things that are difficult. But God says, in that difficulty that you endure, know that I am with you. If we can understand that, then we've reached some way into understanding this component which has driven many people away from faith. And number two, that those hardships that a person endures will not go unrewarded. And you will see that on the day of judgment, for your patience and for your enduring those difficulties with patience, God will reward you immensely. As God clearly states, we will test you with fear, hunger, loss of wealth, loss of life, but give glad tidings to those who are patient. So the evil that people experience or the suffering that people experience, it's a temporary suffering. Think of it like a bad dream. Upon waking, there's nothing there. It's all over. It's temporary. Likewise, this world is a test. Given that it's a test, you'll find obstacles. And there will be suffering. And there will be some hardship. But at the end of it, there is a great reward awaiting for those who have suffered. In fact, the person in this world who suffered greatly when he sees paradise and he enters paradise, he will state, I never saw a difficult day. And this is the person who suffered dearly upon this world. So whatever difficulties, whatever hardships, whatever calamities that you face and the loved ones that you've lost, that feeling that you're feeling is going to be temporary. I want to also comment on the fact that sometimes people perform bad actions. Let me explain. God gave mankind free will. The freedom to choose between right and the freedom to choose between wrong. Now what that means is that inevitably it is the choice to do the evil which is the evil and not the fact that God created it. The choice of man, despite it being evil, will be created. But this does not mean that God is happy with that decision. It does not mean that he's pleased with that decision. But because God has given him the choice, he has created and given that choice an external manifestation. But that doesn't mean that there isn't a plan or wisdom to the actual fact or thing that occurred. One great scholar said we are like an ant on a big great rug. That ant can't see the entirety of that rug. God has the absolute ability of foresight. We see that sometimes when catastrophes occur, what do people do? It brings out sometimes the best in people. You see people flocking to centers where they can donate their time, where they can donate their wealth, and they want to help the poor, they want to help the weak, they want to help the destitute. We don't understand the knowledge or have the information about everything. And that's something that I want to leave you with and leave you with the very fact that God does love His creation and the ones who patiently endure the sufferings they occurred in this world will be greatly rewarded in the hereafter. It's part and parcel of the test that God has given His creation.